Welcome back. We hope you enjoy the story we've got for you today. And I wonder how many of you out there have a good memory. Do any of you have a good memory? Well, that's what this story is about today. It's entitled A Good Memory. It's by June, who's from Taiwan. So let's find out what it's all about. 11-year-old June likes to memorise Bible verses at home in Taiwan. June, who is the eldest child in the family, started memorising the Bible when he was in third grade. It was mother who first suggested that he memorise verses and recite them from memory during family evening worship. June was happy to recite Bible verses, and even though sometimes it was difficult to remember, the verses, he did not get angry. Mother promised that she would tell a Bible story each time, every time he memorised a new verse. June loves listening to stories, especially from the Bible. At family worship, he recites the new Bible verses that he has memorised. His nine-year-old sister and five-year-old brother memorise the same verses, and so do mother and father. The whole family recites Bible verses out loud together. Some church leaders learned about the Taiwanese family that loves memorising the Bible and invited them to recite Bible verses at an important mission conference. June and his whole family stood on the stage and recited their favourite Bible verses to a big crowd of people. Many mothers and fathers were in the audience and they were amazed to hear June and his family. They decided also to memorise Bible verses with their children for family evening worship. Then, because of father's work, June and his family moved to a new city. At first, June felt very sad about saying goodbye to his friends. But one day at his new school, teacher asked, What does it mean to share? June quickly raised his hand. He remembered a favourite Bible story that mother had told him. I know a story about a little boy who shared his lunch of five loaves and two fishes and it fed more than 5,000 people, he said. Teacher had never heard the story. June's classmates had never heard the story. They had never read the Bible. Teacher asked June to share the story with the class. And so June happily told the miracle story of how Jesus blessed a little boy's lunch. He was happy to share his love for Jesus in his new school. Then one of June's classmates had to move after his father got a new job. June saw that his friend was sad. He understood how the boy felt because he had moved recently as well and, and understood it. Can I pray for you? He asked. God can make you feel happy again. The boy agreed and June recited a prayer that he had memorised in the Bible. He prayed the Lord's Prayer, which begins, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. June, he's not shy about praying with his classmates. These days, his classmates often come to his house to play and he often invites them to pray together. June likes memorising the Bible. It has changed his life. Thank you for your 13th Sabbath offering this quarter. It will help more children and parents learn about Jesus in Taiwan. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the story today and got a blessing from it. If you're not already memorising some of the Bible promises, maybe you'd like to begin and start that. Take care until next time and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.